Chris from Tennessee, and you're watching TJV. everybody we have this stretch trailer behind us which is not stretched out at the moment we need to bring it back to Winnipeg and then we're headed home good morning diesel good morning YouTube good morning world good morning John Deere combine good morning folks it's gonna be a good day look at that visor I'm getting one too I got a, a center drop visor coming I'll talk to you more about it when it comes because there's a story behind it uh, I'm excited to show you that it'll look better than that one I wanted the the v-shape makes the truck look angry sort of you know that's uh, my favorite one anyways so hopefully uh, well, I don't know I'm not too sure when it's coming but when it does we'll make a video out of it I'll probably install it myself if I'm able to We're here in Brandon Manitoba on the way back halfway back already you know me it's uh Go, 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 when it's time to go home. This is the only stop of today. I'm gonna avoid all the potholes. And go park in the back, and Timmy's is right there. Timmy's, Timmy's. Oh, look at this, they fixed their potholes. Fantastic, that's awesome. I really hope that lasts more than three weeks. That's gonna be great. Look at this, it's nicely rolling through here, not losing half my truck. <laughs> that is awesome, good job. Park up there between those guys. Oh, oh, the big one right here. This one always sneaks up on you, right when you leave the asphalt. Oh, oh, there it is. So tomorrow is Canada Day. I've seen quite a few Canada flags flying around everywhere already. It's good to see. Diesel, you want anything? I want to go home, man. Okay, well, that I can do. We're going home. All right. Actually, yeah, I am gonna let you out. Let's let you out here while we're here. Then we'll go grab a coffee. Nice, clean TMC truck there. Has Iowa plates on it. You don't see too many American trucks in Canada. It's usually us Canadian drivers that are bringing stuff back and forth across the border. Uh, the US drivers, for the most part, they just like to stay in the US, it seems. Which I can't really blame them. There's lots to do down there. So they, uh, it's not like they're dependent on coming up here, like we are for going down there. Up here, if you're a truck driver and you can't cross the border into the U.S., that's pretty much uh, a death sentence for your career, figuratively. It's, uh, you can't be much, or you can't make a lot of money here without being able or having the ability to go down to the U.S. and deliver there. Most of our exports, hold is the massive pothole here, yikes. Most of our exports do go to the U.S. I mean, yeah, there's lots of stuff going on in Canada as well, but all of that freight is mostly all gobbled up already. It's very hard to find that. Yikes, man, what happened to those potholes? What's up with that? Yikes. I mean, there's so many cities and towns in the US too. Like there's so much freight moving around everywhere. We got a 
try to get onto the highway here. I want to go that way, eastbound. I'm waiting for this white SUV to decide what they want to do. Well, if you had used your signals, man, I would have. Oh, well, your back signal is on. I didn't see his front signal. <laughs> Some vehicles, the signals are not very visible. And that's a problem, too. Turn left. What do you think I'm doing, Karen? Hold on, we got a red light. Construction. Construction, and that lane ends. And most people have figured it out. Some people haven't. Diesel, bananas over here. No big Frank won't. He just spits it out. This is why every time I eat a banana, they swarm around me, <laughs> and I don't share my bananas. I'm greedy with my bananas, so then I look like the bad guy. That's my banana. Because I'm the favorite parent, right? Who's your favorite? Yep. I gave you pizza crust this morning, dude. Just kidding, mom. Stuffed crust. For mm -hmm. She never really eats the banana, banana herself. I sit here and watch her. She eats like one bite of the banana. She gives the rest away. No, I eat like three or four bites. <laughs> so good morning, everybody. Uh, today I want to get the marker lights on the front underneath the headlights hooked up on the truck. It's Sunday. Oh, what is this today? June? Is this, no, it's July. Third? Fourth. Is it July 4th today? No, it's tomorrow. Is it? No. I haven't heard the fireworks from next door yet, so it's got to be tomorrow. It's the third because yeah, you might be right. Friday right. was Canada Day, July first, right. and then Saturday's the second. Today is July third. Sorry. Tomorrow is July fourth. My bad. Good day, old blue. So, like I said earlier, our project for today are these uh, marker lights in the front. When I bought the truck, uh, there was a visor missing on one of these. Headlights. Uh, it was a different kind of visor. It was detachable. This one's actually built right onto there. So these ones come with marker lights and signal lights down here. You want to know what kind of engine it is? It's an ISX 485. It's got 370 rear ends. But honestly, you want to see the engine? Comments. Maybe one day if I ever. Uh, yeah, well, I will have to change out the rear ends eventually. They've got almost 3 million kilometers on them, and they're still running great. But eventually, I'm going to have to rebuild them and uh, or put new ones in there. And maybe I'll change the axle ratio or the rear end ratio then, uh, so that my RPMs are a little lower at highway speed. Mm -hmm. For now, it's, it's running great. 370 rear ends, Cummins ISX 45. And uh, she runs beautifully. Runs beautifully. Yeah, really like it. It's running really good for me. It doesn't burn a drop of oil. The previous owner uh, told me that he had this truck for eight and a half years. And in that eight and a half years, other than regular oil changes and services, he only had to add a total of three gallons to the engine between services. In eight and a half years. It's got about 600,000 kilometers on the rebuild. That's what, 380,000 miles or so? Somewhere under 400,000 miles. So the engine's actually pretty new. Uh, it runs fantastic. Knock on all the wood you can, guys. Knock on some wood for me, please. We want it to continue running like that. The truck itself has 2.85, almost 2.86 million kilometers on it. Uh, so it's, it's an old truck. It doesn't look that way, right? If you take care of it, they'll last a long time. I can get this truck up to 5 million kilometers, no problem. The rear ends here, everything's dirty, excuse me. I'm here today to wash the truck as well as do the markers. But uh, the rear ends here, uh, like I said, 3.7 or 370 ratio, and they're original. They did have the fluid changed in them when I bought it. That was one of the conditions of sale that the seller offered to me. He uh, changed the diff fluid in both this. He changed the transmission fluid up front. Transmission's original as well. 
So the truck is aging, motor is pretty new. Uh, so eventually what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to put new rear ends in here and a new transmission or rebuild the transmission eventually, right? Uh, hopefully not too soon, but uh, so far, you know, you treat it nicely. It should go a long time. And other than that, it's just little parts here and there, you know, like a bearing, wheel seal might go, some airbags and airlines, maybe some electrical. As I, it, it breaks, you, you fix it, and you keep going. Good, I'm a regional driver here. I'm from Canada, first of all. From up here in Manitoba, we're just above North Dakota. So my area of operation are pretty much the prairies of Canada, Manitoba, Saskatchewan, Alberta, and the northern Midwest of the US. Uh, like North Dakota, South Dakota, maybe some in Nebraska, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Iowa, yeah, that whole region. There may be Montana. I wouldn't mind Montana because I don't like to play favorites, but Montana is like my favorite state. I love Montana. Love it, love everything about it. It's great, I love going there. Beautiful state and everything there just, it makes sense. You know, the way they run things, the way they do things, it just makes sense. Like it. Anyway, so let's get going on these marker lights here. We're gonna get these installed. Hopefully it won't take too long, but knowing me, it probably will. When you're watching this, it may be uh, July 4th in the US. I wanna wish my friends to the South a happy Independence Day and a happy July 4th. Uh, be safe with your fireworks, but have fun. Set off some real big ones for me, okay? Do it for me, I wanna be able to hear them from this side of the border. That's my challenge to you. We do have some new uh, stuff here in the shop to show you, I guess, hanging on the walls. Got a little Kenworth metal sign up there. And we also got a Kenworth banner over there. And we put up the US flag here. I think it was, uh, I think it looks better with the colors and color schemes this way. And over here we have uh, the greatest hockey team on the face of the planet, obviously. What a big Jets. One day we're gonna bring the Stanley Cup home. One day, you know. We have a slogan in Winnipeg. You know, we may not be the best, but at least we're not Toronto. <laughs> I hope my Toronto friends have a sense of humor. <laughs> if not, I just made them very angry, very angry. They take their, uh, their Toronto Maple Leafs very seriously. That's all it is. It's a uh, pretty cheap material actually, but it looks good. And uh, the marker light down there, there's the wiring for it. I got a wire into there for the marker light, signal light and ground. Progress update. I drilled a small hole through the back of the housing here just to get these wires through nice and clean. We're gonna seal that up once we're finished. These are the wires for uh, the signal light and marker lights. These go through here, up to here, to this one, up here. We've cut them off. I'm about to splice them and crimp them all together to these here. I've tested, uh, load tested these or whatever you wanna call it with my uh, tester there the red light is the the red wire is the signal wire brown wire is the marker light wire and the white wire is the ground so we're going to connect the red to the red white to the white and the black to the brown connect all of these together here with a little bit of extra wiring that I cut here just for this so that's gonna to connect to all of those there. They're all gonna to connect together and then they're gonna to go to these here. And then I've already got my heat shield, my heat shrink, my shrink heat, my heat. <laughs> the stuff that shrinks. Right here, I'm gonna put that on here as well. Actually, I can put those on right now already. I have them cut right here. Okay. Just gonna slide this over that there with my left hand just to challenge myself so it's ready. It's already on the wire. That way once I connect these wires to these, the heat tube here is already on there and I can seal it up so that the moisture doesn't get to it. Okay, let's uh, get this done. I'll, I'll update you once this marker light's working, if it works. Let's hope it works. I haven't tested it yet to even see if the lights work in there. I'm just trusting that Amazon sent me a good, uh, a good product. We'll <laughs> see when it was made in America, I think. Assembled in America. I have no idea. Let's test. The only one way to test this out. 
Let's wire her up. Electronics like this have always interested me. I've always been, uh, it's always made sense to me in my head how wiring works. I, I can do wiring pretty well. There's other things that I could improve on uh, when it comes to mechanic skills, but when it comes to like electronics for stereos or lights, I've always liked lots of lights. So I know, I know how to wire those up. So that, that's a skill that I'm putting to use here right now. And all this is is just for that little LED bar beneath the headlight. But it's worth it. Every light matters. You guys ready for the first test? Now I've got these finished here. These are all done. I just have to shrink that up. This I've got crimped onto that, but these are not crimped in yet, but they're just sitting in there. Just to make sure that I got the wiring right, I'm like 99.9998% chance that I got the wiring just right. But just in case I need to switch something around, I don't want to have to waste a crimp like that. And I know some of you in my last video have said, oh, you should solder it. Huh? Well, I should probably do a lot of things. I decided not to. My shop, my rules. That's the main thing in this shop. Okay. Okay, so we've got the marker lights on. See that there? So the front of this should be lit up. <clears throat> there we go. Now if I turn the signal on, it should start flashing. Beautiful. Right on. So we can patch it all up now, finish it, seal it up, and move on to the next light. The next one will go by even faster. You can see those are sealed up. I'm gonna seal these up next. See these here? Just wanna shrink them up around there. Just one at a time, Just a little lighter. Heat them up and they seal to the wires on both ends. You wanna go till you get a little bit of white sealant that comes out the side there. That tells you that it's sealed. And on the other side as well. There we go. See, that one's done. See, it's got a little bit of gunk coming out the back there. On the other side as well. It means it's sealed on both ends. There we go. That side as well. Working good. Beautiful. More lights, the better. You can never have too many lights. Never. And that's all I got time for this time. Got a couple other projects that I want to work on yet. Garbage back where it belongs. I've got these. These are uh, breather or air cleaner lights. They go inside the air cleaners. I also have those uh, horns to install yet. It'll be another day real soon. Uh, the, those breather air cleaners will be lit up in here and they'll be amber. So eventually, like for now, the uh, previous owner brought those to me. He had them already, he just hadn't installed them. So I'll install those for now. And eventually I'm gonna replace them with those dual revolutions like I've been talking about, that glow amber on the highway and then blue in the parking lot. But uh, for now, the amber will be in there, it's cool. Well, some lights are better than no lights, right? A lot of lights are better than some lights. And an excessive amount of lights is better than a lot of lights. I don't know. So the final step, now that we've got it all done, is just sealing off that headlight compartment where I drilled the hole through. Now don't laugh at me, okay? Because uh, silicone and I are not friends, and we never have been. I've never gotten along well with it, but it does the job. I just have a hard time making it look pretty. <laughs> all right, I don't think it looks that bad, all right? So I sealed that because it was sealed to begin with. So when I, you see this, the wire's coming through here, that's sealed. So that tells me that water probably shouldn't be getting into that compartment. Mm, could cause some problems. So I drilled a new hole in there, put the wires through there, and I'm gonna let that dry overnight like that. And it isn't that pretty, but it'll do the job. And at least the job is done, right? And I did it myself, so. I don't want to pay people to do work I could do myself, even if it's not the prettiest. Because there's people that do this every single day. They got 
the know-how, the tools, the experience, they can just pop, bada bing, bada boom, they could probably get this done in like half an hour, right? Me, it, it took a couple hours and took my time and it's not the prettiest, but I get the bragging right saying, hey, I did this. Me and Old Blue, we're a team together and I wanna do as much of the work as I can. I've been driving trucks since 2006 and I grew up around trucks. Uh, this is all I know. I don't know anything else. This is my world. And it has been since I was a little kid. And I'm not, and I want to fully acknowledge that I'm not the best at everything, all these little details. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm a truck driver first, and then a jack of many trades second. But at least, uh, you know, I can bond with the truck, get to know the truck. And like I said, the, the, the more expensive things are coming. The new stacks, probably gonna go with eight inch, though I want to measure it out. I want the same size as those up there. Ah, I still have to measure that. Seven or eight inch stacks, and they're gonna go all the way down the side here. I mean, another option would be to get another uh, heat shield like this, but instead of it saying Kenworth, having it say like Trucker Josh or TJV or something, but I think I'd rather like just the, the stack just coming straight down. New stacks for the truck, they're gonna be flat tops and uh, about 13 feet, at least maybe 13 foot five, no higher than 13 foot six. But uh, those are gonna be about $3,400. And I think that's American money. So it's close to $4,000 Canadian. And uh, like I've been saying, Old Blue and I, we have some bonding to do yet before I, before I do that. She's running great, not burning a drop of oil. Like I was explaining earlier, fantastic truck. The owner before me took really good care of her, kept her in mint, mint shape. I keep referring to it as a her right now. I don't know what it is, her, him. It's old blue. It can be whatever you want it to be. I don't really care. I don't really care. That's not important to me. What is important to me is that uh, before I spend $4,000 into new stacks, I want to spend a good couple of months with this truck, just getting to know how she works or how he, I keep calling, I guess it's a she. I keep re referring to her as a she. I don't know. <laughs> but I want to get a, uh, build trust between the truck and I, uh, so that I know that nothing's going to break right away, right? I was telling you earlier, the rear ends here have 3,000 kilometers on them. That's about uh, 2, 000, 2 million miles. And they're doing great, doing absolutely great. But eventually I'm going to have to put new diffs in here. And I'm thinking what? Probably what, $9,000 Canadian a diff, or like eight, seven, eight thousand $8,000 American for a diff. There's two of them, <laughs> plus the transmission. Those are the only three things I'm really like keeping my eye and ears open for are the diffs and the transmission. Everything else has been replaced. And uh, even the shocks are new. Airbags are doing really well. You never know, you never know, right? Buying a truck means things will go wrong. And I'm not expecting Old Blue to run perfect. She's, she's gonna have problems. He's gonna have problems, it's gonna have problems. And it's probably gonna happen at the most inopportune times. It's really gonna suck when it, when it breaks. And it's gonna be hard some days, but overall, we're just gonna keep fixing it up. We're gonna keep going, because that's what we do. He's TikTok. Beautiful summer evenings. It's actually nine o'clock already, so I don't know if it's night or evening yet, but the sun's still up, so I'd call it evening. What's going on over here? Oh, he likes to stand around and he shakes violently, and I thought, hey, put him up here and let him relax for a bit. He's old. Old as dirt, right, Frank? Older. So we went cycling around Steinbach through all the neighborhoods. Uh, we always do this, just look at all the houses being built, all the new suburbs. So I'm not much of a flower man or anything, but I like looking at them. I think Britt did a pretty good job with our flowers this year. What do you think? Got these hanging back here, right behind our uh, little sitting area here. And we got these over here. I think she's got a few more in the front. I mean, you know, you know, this wasn't me because if if I tried this, they'd all be dead. But I think she did a pretty good job. 
she makes the yard really homey. And like I said, I'm not much of a flower guy myself, but I, I really like having them in the yard. It makes, makes it very comfortable being out here and enjoying our space. I'm thankful she has a, more of a green thumb than I do. But we took down this carport, if you guys are, haven't watched in a while. There used to be a carport here, right? Or like a, a little tarped, covered area. Took it down, now it's our uh, outdoor area. It's perfect. It opened up the yard so much. We're gonna build a little deck in here eventually, and a little gazebo. Maybe even a screened-in gazebo. Get away from the mosquitoes. My project for tomorrow get rid of these things. I've just been waiting for the long weekend to be over uh, because nothing's open on the long weekend obviously it's Canada Day weekend up here and I understand it's uh, July 4th long weekend down in the US uh, we have plans to get rid of this uh, tomorrow afternoon so we can stop being that redneck neighbor with appliances in their backyard <laughs> not the image we're going for uh, it's beautiful outside. I don't really want to go inside. The temperature is just perfect. It's just perfect. Are you, you guys got a smudge on you or something? I keep thinking that. No, it's on your end. You got a smudge in your eye. That's that's what it was. It's not on my end. 